So near the month end, so I'm going to do top 10 One UI 8 reviews on this Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so because you're going to learn a lot of new things about this device. So today we are just going to be focusing on One UI 8 on the S25 Ultra. So let's get started. What are the new features inside here? So the first thing is we're going to talk about the AI, AI features. We are going to talk about, let's just say, we are going to be pulling out one of the video that I did before, right? And then now, let's just say you, I press the following button, you can see there's a brand new features right here. Initially, before, you have to press the AI, then they have to do all this little like AI analyzing, and then you have to do manually. You want to erase the, my voice, you want to increase the volume, uh, the music volume, background sound, the noise, you want to decrease the noise, you have to do everything manually. But now you don't have to go to the AI, you just go to this button right here. When you press that, now the AI will do everything for you. Once they finish, you're going to be hearing what they added. If you like that, you can actually press save and then that's it. So this is feature number one. You can see they are working on it to see what to erase or to add much louder, they will do everything automatic. Number two, if you on any, some sort of like WhatsApp or whatever, you just turn on your keyboard and then you can see this little happy face. When you press that, when you press the AI button, the blue button, you can see there is a plus button right here. So now the one UI 8 features is, did you know this is not only the options you can use. You can have at least eight different options you can use. You can generate any stickers, whatever you want. So let's just say, for example, right? Let's just say I want to do illustrations. And then I'm just going to type something, cat eating ice cream, something like that. Who cares, right? Now you can use the keyboard, okay? Samsung keyboard to generate a sticker for you. Now, this is a sticker. When you like this, you press done, you send as stickers, and now this is your brand new stickers. Now, when you go back in, you can see your, you can see your stickers already here. And now we're gonna jump to number three. Because we have the stickers right now, now you have to go into good luck. Okay. And now you have to go into home up. You make sure you turn one thing on first. We're gonna to go to home up right here. And now you want to go into home screen and make sure you turn this DIY on, okay? DIY on. And now you press anywhere that there is space. Make sure your DIY is on up here. Press this. Now you can insert your stickers. Okay, so you go to your gallery and then just go all the way down. You should see your cat is right there. Now you can insert that little stickers that what you create before. Now you can actually create a sticker just like that because you have a DIY on and then that's it. So now when, when everything's done, you can resize it. Okay, you can make it smaller. You can do whatever you want. So whatever the stickers you can create, you can put on your homepage and press done. And then now your cat is on your homepage. So the new One UI 8, from the side, you see there's a this panel right there on the top. Okay, right at the top. Now you can use this AI select to select whatever you want. Now you don't have to wait until it loads. Before One UI 7, you have to wait low. Now, once you turn that on, you can start circling whatever you want. So now you can actually use these all features right here. You can share, download, pin, copy, and trim. Or you can actually uh, Google, and then let me find something like this. Okay, I'm gonna find image. And now, let's just say this is my image. I can use the AI select, circle this, and now I want to make it better because I want to trim this. Okay. 
And now I can just hold this and then it becomes a sticker as well too. You can see that. Pretty cool, huh? So this is actually I want UI 8, number 4. Number 6, sketch to image. How do we get this? So let's just say this is the image and now you press the A button. And then now you can see sketch to image. Once you do the sketch to image, you just basically draw something and then press generate and then that's it. Before One UI 8 and One UI 7, they do not have this together. The sketch to image, you have to do it separately. But now this one, everything is on here. All right. So this is how you do sketch to image. At the, At the same, same time, my next feature I would like to show you is, is actually you can change this size as well too. Let's just say we press the air button again. Now we're going to hold this or you circle. So now let's say I hold it, there's erase or there's resize. So I can just resize this, okay, make it smaller and then press generate. The new one UI 8, the way that they generate the new image, it looks really, really good. See, they will change this image smaller and then they will fill up the hole with something else and then that's it. That's pretty awesome. So number nine, this is related to your, on the top, you see this is quick share. Now when you press a quick share, you can see there's a new template, receive and send. So if you want to send things, this is pretty cool because you just press send files, they will have categories for you. You can say others, document, videos, image, everything is on one spot. So let's just say I want to send these, they will show you how many megabyte you are sending out or how many gig. And then that's it. That's pretty cool. So everything is on here. You don't have to go to gallery. You don't have to go to my file, find documents. You don't have to do any, everything. You just go down here and then just press this. And then now quick share menu will be here. You can say receive or send, whatever you want. And the very last features I would like to show you is, it's just this AI button. You can see I didn't type anything yet. Now I press the AI and then I can ask the AI to composer for me. So let them write anything. So let's just say I want to say casual, write something about where should we eat? Something like that, who cares, okay? And then now they will write a huge paragraph for you. And then you just press insert and then press send and this is it. Okay. So they can write anything for you. You just press the AI and then composer. And then in here, there's a selection, standard email, comments, social media, and then you can say casual or professional. And then just type whatever you want. They can do everything for you. So I hope this helps you. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace out.